Yes, hey, what's up, everyone? Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California, and we have another breakdown here for you today on Jalen Bacon. So, um, the thing that I liked about Jalen Bacon is really anybody that runs sub 10 is always like super interesting. I mean, it, it's it's just a hard thing to achieve running under 10 seconds in the 100 meters. And I uh, got a couple of people that said that this would be a good uh, person to break down, so just thought of, we'd go ahead and, and do just that. So. Um, go ahead and get right into it here. The, the thing with Jalen is he has a, a really, really good start. When he first gets out of the blocks, he, he can really takes gets a lot of turnovers, able to get each one of his steps going very, very quickly, um, and also able to really reach very so. He, and he's pretty straight up. You know, see how like some of these other guys are really, really leaned over and it's not a great position where Jalen is here in uh, his lane, lane five, and he's really able to reach out and maintain a good spine position. So he has great overall core strength and also a, a really strong um, really strong hip flexors and you know it has a lot of ability to create power there. So um, now as we get into the, the top speed, really there's a couple things, you know, there, there's a lot of things that you see over and over with the, these guys that run very, very quickly. One of them is they're able to get to that extension within when their legs are out in front of them. They're able to get that great pull. You can see how he's extending out with that leg in front, getting that pull, making it so they're landing with their knees fairly straight. And then from there, driving up and, and driving that heel right up to the butt, pushing off vertically. If you guys haven't, if you guys have been watching our videos and still don't understand that, still don't see that, then this is, I mean, you've got to really focus on that. That's what's really important, being able to press up vertically. I don't need press up vertical, vertically, drive that heel right up to your butt, make it so that heel comes up to your butt before that back knee crosses the front knee then from there be able to drive that knee up keeping the, the knee fairly close to um, or sorry your foot fairly fairly close to your thigh and then as you get that knee all the way up now you extend your foot out and then pull your leg back underneath you to make it so you land with your foot right back underneath you just like how Jalen's doing really really good here um, and also while he's doing that he's also doing an excellent job of reaching back keeps him, his elbow in a good position and gets his elbow um, essentially right up to his shoulder so he's doing all those things very very well now the the thing and in, in, um, you know we, we've done a lot of these breakdowns before that's something that you know what I just said is something that I've, I've said time and time again so um, make sure that you can connect to that before we start getting into some of this advanced stuff because I always want to give you guys a little bit of you know something that that is a, a little gem right and so when we're looking at Jalen notice that when he comes and he touches down he you know, he does a good job with reaching. He has that left elbow all the way back. He's coming down and touching with that left arm and, or sorry, with that left leg. And then as he's bringing his left arm through, he does a really good job of keeping his his chest kind of turned towards up towards us as that left foot's touching the ground. And then as he drives his leg back and really starts to extend with that left leg, now notice how he creates rotation in the upper body. So now he's rotating to the right. So he's using his oblique in that rotation to then push back off of that left leg and create more activation within his left glute. Okay, so there's a, a chain of muscles that go from, and we're talking about your back here, so it'll be like the mid part of your back. So when he's rotating to the right, he's activating that, those muscles on the back part of his right side and they go right down to that left glute and kind of going diagonally. And so as he's going and he's about to push off and generate maximum force within his hips, he's also pulling that right arm back to make it so he's creating more activation there to help him in that whole transition from one leg to the other okay so that's a, a very key point we'll see it again here so he goes he touches with his right leg when he touches with his right leg he keeps that right or he's bringing his right arm through but he keeps that right shoulder back as he goes and extends with that right arm now is when he gets that rotation to his left side and as he's rotating to the left side he's really pulling hard here to then create that extension with his right leg and making it so he can and fully achieve the the movement that he's trying to achieve truly be able to push off the ground with a large amount of force okay and that connection between your obliques and your glutes are critical critical to be able to fully access the both the the power you can create out of the core and the power you can create out of the hips and, and therefore the legs in general. All right, so a very, very important point there that I thought would be an excellent thing for you guys to, to connect to and an excellent thing for you guys to see. 
I hope you guys really liked it, what we what we went over there. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. I'd be happy to um, answer anything that you might have. My email is mori, M-O-R-E-Y, at yourperformancelab.com. You could also go to, and scroll down below or, or check the uh, the details down here below, and you can um, see our free ebook, the Everything You Need to Know to Get Faster ebook. Um, full, full of a lot of great information, some of the things that we talked about here in the video, but additionally, um, just stuff that, that can really trigger you to be able to run faster and really understand the mechanics. And if you want to go a step further, we have our three-month online program where you can get me personalized, uh, me actually breaking you down in videos, just like how I'm doing here with Jalen, to explain to you what you can do in your individual run to help you maximize your form and make it so you can take it your your game to a whole nother level. They're all about decreasing injury, helping you so you can run faster, um, and creating a whole personalized exercise program to make it so you can achieve just that. So, um, yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching these videos, and we will see you soon.